Hey guys, so let's go ahead and jump right on in. I am going to show you how I made these DIY postpartum padsicles. So I picked up these Always Maxi pads. They are the biggest ones, the biggest overnight size. These are some lavender essential oil drops. This is some witch hazel astringent. I picked up all of this stuff at Walmart, by the way. And also some aloe vera gel. So I'm just gonna go ahead and mix everything in a bowl. That way it makes it a little bit easier for a more even application to each pad. So I went ahead and started with the aloe vera gel. There is no specific type of measurement in here. I'm just kind of eyeballing everything. And I wanted to start off with just a little bit. Then I added some witch hazel to it. I kind of wanted to make everything a little bit even, but I didn't have exact measurements, so I just kind of eyeballed everything. I do want to say to please be aware whenever you're using these lavender essential oil drops, the lavender is really strong and I believe I use a little bit too much lavender. It was about right here as I was mixing that the lavender was a little bit overwhelming and I went ahead and added a little bit of more aloe vera gel and a little bit more witch hazel just to kind of balance out that lavender. I think you maybe only need maybe like two to three drops in it because it is very strong. Okay, so let's go ahead and make our first patsicle. I opened up this overnight one and as you can tell, it is very long, but I hear that it is very good. You're going to want a lot of cooling sensation. I'm sure you are going to be very sore. That's what I'm not looking forward to during this labor, but that's okay, anything for my baby. Since it is a very long padsicle, you're gonna wanna make sure that you evenly cover the whole thing. Um, for this patsicle, I used two tablespoons full of our little witch hazel, aloe vera gel, and lavender essential oil drop mixture. See, there I am going in for that second one. And you just want to make sure everything is pretty much fully covered. So now that we have the whole patsicle covered, it's a little bit messy, but that's okay. The pad is very huge, so it will absorb pretty much the whole mixture. We just wanna fold the wings back into place. That way when we fold it, there's no sticky parts and we can just fold it back a lot more easier. So now that we folded all of the parts back together, it is now completely done. We'll go ahead and jump into the next patsicle. I went ahead and got the next size down from the Always Maxi collection. This is size number four. I wanted some smaller pads just in case I didn't really need all of those huge ones. But you're just gonna be repeating the same process if you decide to get these. You'll only need one spoonful for these pads. Uh, one spoonful pretty much covered a majority of the pad, which was great. I went ahead and put all the finished pads in a gallon Ziploc bag. With that aloe vera gel mixture, I was able to make six big overnight pads and I believe eight jumbo size pads. And now they're ready to go into the freezer. So each time you use a pad, you want to make sure that you let it thaw out for about five minutes before applying it to your underwear. Once you let it thaw, it is good to apply and good to go for a nice soothing sensation. 
I also wanted to show you guys the little bathroom postpartum kit that I made. I am not looking forward to using the bathroom after labor, but it's a part of life. We all have to. So here is some Tux medicated cooling pads. They are hemorrhoidal pads that are soaked in witch hazel. They're very cooling to the hemorrhoid area, which unfortunately can come with labor. I am not looking forward to getting hemorrhoids. Majority of the women that I've talked to did say that they did receive hemorrhoids during the labor process and after because of all the strenuous straining and pushing. So I also picked up some Preparation H. I did also put some regular pads in here just in case, but I'm sure at first I will be using the cooling ones. Use overnight and the regular jumbo. What's in the CVS is a prescribed stool softener that I got from my doctor. I also picked up this Dermoplast. I keep hearing that this spray is amazing. I've been told how you use it is you spray it on before and after use in the bathroom and it is just the best thing ever. So I'm really glad that I picked some up. And that is it for this DIY video of how to make Patsicle postpartum pads. Thank you so much for taking the time out to watch my video. I did not come up with these pads on my own. These are a pin that I found on Pinterest, but I thought that they would be very useful for the postpartum care. Please subscribe if you're not subscribed, and then you can follow me on Instagram at Babe. Thanks, guys!